Hello everyone, my name is Ira Fay, and this is an exciting game in the top four of the War of the Ring 2023 World Tournament. My opponent is Circle Dakin. We have gone one and one in the first two games, and we are now going to play the tiebreaker game. There is bidding, and because I played so poorly as free people in the first game, I really wanted to have a rematch with me as free people. So I bid only zero, uh, zero tokens to play as Shadow, and then they counterbid one token uh, for them to play Shadow, and I accepted. Which I, I think two tokens is actually a more balanced number, but I just wanted to make sure that I was playing free people. So I intentionally underbid a little bit, um, which is fine. I'm, I'm happy with one token. And um, I take the, the muster token. So they allocated one eye. They rolled no more. They got a nice roll and I got a nice roll. So I have Swords and Ariador as a playable uh, strategy card and a pretty flexible roll. I could also play Elven Cloaks if I wanted to cycle character cards, but I prefer to cycle strategy cards early in the game. So I start off by passing. They get Isengard to war. They move uh, armies to from Baradur to Gorgoroth. And um, then I play Swords in Ariador, and I get Fear Fire Foes and Dane Ironfoot's Guard. So happy to see Dane. It's a good way of defending Erebor. And Fear Fire Foes is very interesting because I can now, uh, so they move armies to um, Gorgoroth, from Nurn to Gorgoroth, and Gorgoroth to um, Minus Morgul. And um, I now have the option of separating companions to Moria, moving once with a uh, Will of the West, and then moving again with um, Fear Fire Foes, using putting putting uh, the North to war right now. So it would let them get a turn two Witch King. It does not let me get a turn one or possibly even a turn two Aragorn. Um, so I didn't do it. I, I It would be fun, but my thinking is let's move. Maybe I can kill off Gandalf with these two movements and then bring him back in Grey Havens and then I'll have Fear Fire Foes and that'll be that'll be great. So um, I think for a while and I just move. So they miss and then they move our uh, armies from Minus Morgul to North Athelion and, and then I move again and this time I get hit and it's a two. So I'm happy to lose Gandalf turn one. I'm not repeating my mistakes and I just now need to roll a Will of the West um, next round. And then I'll have Fear Fire Foes. I can muster up in Dale. I'll have five dice. It's going to be great. Um, they get Saruman, obviously. And now I do this one regular movement to um, Minas Tirith because they might attack into Osgiliath and I do not have Gondor at war. So um, that's my that's my thinking there. Um, maybe there would be a better movement. I, I also, I don't have scouts, so I don't move Carrick to Old Forest Road. And my plan is to get the North to war. Um, so I'd rather just um, get these units ready in um, Rohan. Yeah, I don't know. M maybe there's a, maybe there's a better move there. All right. They draw a strategy card and um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with that turn. So there's another way, useful card, a little early, but still happy to have it. Um, and Grimbjorn, I'm happy to have scouts. So now, like, maybe I should have moved Carrick to Old Forest Road, anticipating that I would at some point draw scouts, and then it would be nice to have that there. But I also don't mind. I mean, at some point, I'm going to hopefully draw a Rohan mustering card, but having these units in West Emnet prevents um, Helm's Deep from falling too fast. So, all right. Um, they draw Fighting Urk High, which is great for them, and they have two tile drawing cards. Allocate one eye, roll one more, very nice roll, um, good number of attacks, flexible, and I roll this, which, you know, um, is not actually what I want here. I certainly want a Will of the West, for sure, um, and if I can't get the Will of the West, um, I don't know. No, I just want a Will of the West, because I want a Will of the West to then get Gandalf to then be able to play Fear of Fire Foes, to then be able to muster in Dale. So this is sad. Uh, what can I do? They uh, think for a bit. They get Sauron to war. They muster an elite in Dol Guldur. And then they start. And then I move the fellowship. I get, I miss. I get missed. They move armies. And now they're coming in to Woodland Realm. And they're going to get Woodland Realm without any, uh, any defense. And um, 
yeah, maybe I should have anticipated this. They're also, they seem to be going around um, Osgiliath and um, maybe this army is either going to Rohan, in which case I'm not so unhappy to have scouts so that this army in Westamnet can retreat, um, or maybe they're going up to Lorien. It's not exactly clear to me where this army is going yet. They have some flexibility there. Um, I move again, because what else am I going to do? They hit me, and it's just a one, so fine. I take one corruption, and they move now to Old Forest Road and um, Western Evan Wheel. So now the whole like plan of getting the north to war is just not nearly as effective. Um, and I feel sad for Woodland Realm. Yeah. I didn't know that I had, I wasn't, I didn't know that I was going to draw scouts. Yeah. And they got a lot of attacks and movement this round and the muster. So, all right, I move again. What else can I do? They hit me. It's a three. And now I'm like, okay, I'll take a random because it, I could get a hobbit. I have a one third chance of getting a hobbit. And then with this Palantir, I can play Fear Fire Foes and that could be cool. Um, so they get, uh, but I draw Boromir and uh, it's one corruption so that's okay as long as you know i didn't lose strider that's fine and now they besiege woodland realm and that's bad news for me and i play elven cloaks with my own die and um what can they do here they draw a strategy card okay so they are committed to drawing strategy cards even though they're going to now have to discard two and um that's that. So they get rid of Orc Patrol because they are just not focused on the Fellowship. And Shadow Lengthens, very interesting. I guess the Southrons and Easterlings are far away from war, so they're not going to worry about that. And they're holding on to Isildur's Bane. I'm a little surprised at Candles of Corpses. If I think I would rather the Tile Drawing card than Candles of Corpses. I draw Bilbo's song and guards the Citadel. You know, the fact that this army has moved on, I feel a little sad to draw guards the Citadel. I would like um, Thranduil. I would like Power Too Great. I would like um, Celeborn's Galadrim. I do have Dane, so that's something. Um, and more than anything, I would like a Will of the West, please. So Will of the West. I thought about declaring past, um, past Lorien, I mean, past Moria. And maybe that's maybe that's a good idea. Um, I could have declared directly into Lorien. It seems like this army is probably going up to Lorien. Um, and I don't know. I think I'm doing okay on corruption. And I have Bilbo Song and there is another way. So I think maybe declaring out isn't worth the risk. All right. They allocate one eye. They roll one more. And I get this horrible roll. Oh, I forgot about this roll. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, this this is just an absolutely horrible roll. Um, I I think, yeah. Oh, this makes me sad seeing this. Um, yeah, the game was going pretty well, right? Last round, I wished for a Will of the West. Didn't get a Will of the West, but at least I got some movement. This round, I want a Will of the West. I don't get any movement, and I have Palantirs that are just useless. Um, nothing productive to do with it. If I had lost a Hobbit, at least then the Fear Fire Foes, I could be playing that. Um, and then this muster could be mustering uh, Dale. The other thing, I did have an option last round to muster Lorien one towards war, and then with the um, token, get them all the way to war, and then get an Elite and Lorien in advance. But I think I had other uses for it. I don't fully remember exactly what I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, last round, I didn't even roll any musters. Yeah, two rounds ago, I could have mustered the elves a little bit more. But I was worried about giving them the Witch King too soon. Um, so I didn't do that this time. Yeah, so absolutely horrible roll for me. You see this for Shadow and you're like, oh, that's only two attacks, which is below average, but they need these musters. They need the Southrons and Eastlings to war and they have um, Shadow is moving. So this Palantir is going to be completely useful. Like there's no problem with them, with these Palantirs. This is a totally fine roll for Shadow. Um, I mean, to be fair, they did 
draw strategy cards very aggressively. And last round, they did have to waste a Palantir to draw a strategy card um, when their hand was then full and they discarded two. So, I mean, credit to them, absolutely, for, for doing that. But in terms of how bad this role is for us relatively, this is a horrible, horrible role for me and a totally acceptable role for them. Um, all right, so be it. So what can I do? Um, my thinking is, I've played, I've gotten through quite a few, um, quite a few strategy cards. Maybe I can get some reinforcements for the elves in time. I'm going to um, play Dane Ironfoot's guard, then draw a strategy card, and then maybe I can still get something. The other idea is, um, I mean, maybe I use a ring to move once, but what's the difference? I don't want to give them a ring. At the moment, they can't actually besiege Lorien. So depending on what they have, um, I might be able to muster elves towards war once, and then with my token at the end of the round, get the elves to war, and then muster into Lorien um, at the start of next round. So at least that's something. Um, all right, so I play Dane, Dane Ironfoot's guard because I don't want to draw a strategy card when I have what I would consider very useful cards in my hand. I definitely want to keep these corruption card, corruption healing cards, fear fire foes. Maybe I could get rid of, but it's still a useful combat card. Um, guards of the Citadel, maybe a little less useful. I could get rid of that, but I think playing one, drawing one is okay. Maybe that's wrong. They muster the Southrons and Easterlings to war. So this is a moment where I'm not passing because I want to cycle into um, reinforcement cards. There are three, like at least three or maybe four cards that I'd be happy to draw here. Help and Look For is not a card that I am happy to draw here. This is not useful. I need some Elven reinforcements, please. Um, they get the South Rounds and Easterlings all the way to war, which is absolutely what they want to be doing anyway. And then they play Shadow is Moving. So yeah, now I know Lorien's going to get besieged. Just bad. Just bad. All right. They get they go uh, Western Emin Wheel to Eastimnet, Far Harad to Near Harad, um, Umbar to West Harondor, and then Moranon to Gorgoroth. Um, sure. Um, I might have gotten these armies in Southrun and um, and Northrun going. I don't know. I guess they're just going to start attacking Gondor. I mean, I have Gondor defense, and um, I hope that they attack Eastimnet into uh, Westimnet because I have scouts. I've been holding scouts for a while. Um, so I have a moment of hope. Maybe they're trying to go after Helm's Deep. And then they're going to wait on attacking Gondor and before putting elves to war. All right, but no, that's they make the right play. They go towards Parth Celebrant. They go towards, um, they have their army in West Herondor. Now Pelargir is indefensible. And at some point, if I ever get a bad roll of no musters, they can sort of sweep in from Pelargir to Dol Amroth. I draw another card because, you know, now power too great isn't useful, but at least I could possibly get... Um, a reinforcement card like Celeborns or Thranduils. And um, I get King Grandsman. You know, I guess better than nothing, but not really what I'm looking for. And I end up discarding Help on Look For, I think. Yeah. They attack Lorien now, and um, I play King Brandsman. So, you know, I guess one minor, very minor silver lining is that they don't have... Um, they don't have the Witch King this turn. They didn't have quite enough dice for that. But, all right, they draw Orcs Multiplying again. Um, I have Book of Mazarbul, so now I can get the Dwarves and the North to war. Um, but I have a lot of cards in my hand. And uh, this is interesting. So what, what do you discard here? What do you hold on to? Um, this was a really hard choice for me. I got rid of Path of the Woeses for sure. And then I kept I Will Go Alone because... The Fellowship is doing pretty well. Um, I, I have Corruption that I could heal, so it's very efficient, and I could possibly get um, Aragorn down to Dol Amroth. I mean, I need to roll Wills of the West. I have not rolled a Will of the West um, since turn one, 
and I need to get Gandalf in play. But I think I hold on to I will go alone. It's a little tricky because if I had if I had um, Gandalf, I could get Book of Mazarbal and Fearfire Foes. But I only have a 50-50 chance of rolling a Will of the West now. <clears throat> That's a tough call. Um, I get rid of Book of Mazarbal. Yeah, maybe it's better to get rid of Guards of the Citadel, seeming like they're not going to attack Gondor. And then if I get Gandalf, I can just set the North and Dwarves to war. And then they can't even hold Dale, probably. Also, by the way, I still did not draw a Elven Reinforcement card or Power to Great. And I'm nine cards into my strategy deck. That's a little, a little unlucky. All right, they allocate one. I roll one more. And at least I get one Will of the West here. So I'm like, okay, one Will of the West. That's cool. So because the South Rounds and Easterlings are at war, I have to get Gandalf right away. Um, and I get him in Great Havens. My thinking in keeping Fear Fire Foes instead of Book of Mizarble was that um, I could be tricky with my um, action token and then set the north toward the end of the round and then muster in Dale at the start of the round. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's what I guess that's what I was thinking. Also, remember I discarded helped on look for like helped on look for could have been cool potentially in Woodland Realm. Um, yeah, I ruled my Will of the West now, and and now I'm like, ah, if I had Book of Mazarbal, I could get Erebor and um, Dwarves to war and really potentially cause trouble. But, yeah, and maybe that was the wrong choice. Maybe Erebor is the right thing to get to war so that if they try and take Dale, I can attack back um, out of Erebor. The other thing was I just didn't have that much, that many dwarves to muster. Like I've already played Dane and I've already played Swords and Eriador. So I only have like one elite that I can muster in Erebor. And then I'm starting to muster just like regular units and leaders. So I guess that's why I end up with Fear Fire Foes. That might have been a mistake. Like maybe the right play is get rid of Guards of Citadel, hope to draw, hope to roll a Will of the West. And then, all right. Anyway, this is, this is a fine roll. Um... I want them to be rolling more eyes because I'm moving slowly. Um, they attack in Woodland Realm. They play Deadly Strife and they take out Woodland Realm in a single attack. Um, yeah, sad. Uh, I, They get the Witch King. They draw a card. They have the Fighting uruk and they also have a Half-Orcs and Goblin Men. So they... Uh, I move the fellowship once. I'm safe. They play half orcs and goblin men, and um, then I I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do my I'm gonna do my plan and get the north to war. Maybe they're gonna use this attack die, and um, and then they they're not gonna attack into Dale, and I can start mustering in Dale. So I didn't really think through everything. Um, watch what happens. So I use the muster in Gondor which I think is probably the right place to put it. Um, that way, if they attack into us, Gilead, I could still start mustering in Minas Tirith. Um, and, and then they play Fighting uruk -hai because they have um, this elite here. And um, then they play Isildur's Bane. So I've seen them discard character cards. I've seen them play... Um, uh, maybe I didn't see them discard Candles of Corpses, but I've seen them, like, get rid of uh, character cards. And they play Isildur's Bane here. Um, I dish out some damage. They get a bunch of sixes. And um, and basically, Lorien falls, and this army just took three hits. So, my thinking is, they are at five uh, or four victory points. This army in Lorien is quite powerful and will be able to come down to Helm, uh, to Rohan. This army in West Hrondor is powerful, and I'm at six movement right now. So the odds of me getting to um, Mordor next round are low, and I have go I will go alone. So And I have Fearfire Foes. 
so one option is um, play I will go alone to put some companion in Rohan so that then I'm threatening Ents and maybe it does it gives some defense and then with my last die um, with my last die uh, play Fear Fire Foes or something like that um, or uh, Muster Gondor all the way to war I don't know um, if they have Corsairs they can move backwards to Umbar and then attack uh, Dol Amroth right away before Gondor is at war so I kind of also want to get Gondor to war um, so this is, this is really, I think I, th I thought for a long time right here, what to do. Look at the hunt pool. The hunt pool, um, is pretty friendly. Um, just these tiles have been removed from it. Um, and I have Bilbo's song and there's another way in hand. So one option is, uh, fear fire foes right now then they probably almost certainly attack into Dale. So I think it was a mistake to keep Fear Fire Foes as opposed to um, Book of Mazarbal, because even though I don't have much mustering in Erebor, it actually turns on the ability to fight back into Dale. Um, so, so what do you do? I do something that I predict almost no one would do here. And I'm, I'm still not sure if it's right or wrong. Like, I really don't know. Um, so please pause the video, take a moment, look at the situation. These are the cards that I have in my hand. This is the hunt pool right now. I'm at six movement. Shadow has four victory points and pretty, pretty large army still in Lorien. Everybody's at war and they have an army sitting here in West Rondor and another army in um, Gorgroth coming towards um, Gondor at some point. Um, so I do this play, I play, um, I will go alone and I separate everybody except a single hobbit to Westamnet. And my thinking is corruption wise, I'm probably okay. If I can put up some military defense, if I can get, um, Strider to Minas Tirith and crown him. I have guards of the Citadel. He can hold Minas Tirith for a long time. If I have my my captains of the West in Helm's Deep, they can hopefully hold Rohan for a while, even against this army. If I draw Theoden, I can play it as into the siege of Helm's Deep. I can get a companion in Fangorn. Um, and I leave one hobbit in just as a little bit of a um, hedge against taking corruption. Like, hopefully, I can move twice next round and get a Will of the West. And then I can move twice again and I can get to Mordor um, on turn six without getting revealed at all. Like, there are only four eyes that reveal me. Now, none of these tiles, well, the zeros reveal me right now um, if, I, if I get them first. But once I take any corruption, then the zeros no longer reveal me because of Gollum's ability. So, and I heal one from I will go alone. So I'm effectively at um, zero corruption and I have two healing. And so I don't know if this, I still don't know if this is right. Uh, looking at it now, I'm like, I think this was probably right. And my mistake was just not in keeping, like I should have kept Book of um, Mazarbal, not Fear Fire Foes. Or both Book of Mazarbal and Fear Fire Foes. And, um... And not guards of the citadel. I think I'm, I'm happy with scouts because at some point people are going to get attacked, and it'll be useful to be able to play scouts. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I did. Um, curious, really curious to know what you'd have thought. I think that's I think that's an interesting play. Um, and and just to clarify, the reason why I didn't hedge more and and leave more in the fellowship is that. Um, I, there are five tiles in here that reveal me. Like all of these reveal me if I leave anybody in. If Strider is in, I get revealed. And and I'm short on dice because it took so long for Gandalf to show up. You were late, Gandalf. You were definitely late. Um, because it took so long for Gandalf to show up, I just don't have enough dice. And so I need to be using those dice to muster and um, defend my strongholds. So... All right, so that's what I do. 
And now they move towards Rohan and Gondor because, I mean, that we knew that was going to happen. Um, and um, they do not attack Dale. So I do get to play Fear Fire Foes here. And, and this is beautiful. Like, the, I, I'm very satisfied with this because Gandalf comes to the Shire. Aragorn, Strider comes to Minas Tirith. A Hobbit comes to Fangorn. And now I have captains where they need to be. And I think, if I'm remembering correctly, I think they have played both um, of their swarm of bats, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, no, they've, they've just played one. So they played, they played Shadows Moving. They haven't played um, the Black Captain Commands, but or the um, Return of the Witch King. But um, I think that their chances of having a second swarm of bats are relatively low, so my scouts is likely to work. So as soon as they attack anywhere in Rohan, I'm going to be able to retreat and hole up in Helm's Deep. I would really like to draw any of the Rohan mustering cards. Um, Theoden, Aomer, um, Red Arrow, any of those would be fine. And I would really like a Will of the West next round. So the North is at war. Um, and I drew Kyrdans. So Kyrdans is great. Um, that will defend Dol Amroth. Um, Mirror of Galadriel is interesting. Um, did they not have Day Without Dawn earlier? Or maybe that's a different game. Um, okay. So anyway, so they draw Ring Wraiths are abroad and they have Cruel Weather and Nazgul Strike. So, um, you know, seeing that they had Cruel Weather, I'm glad that I didn't declare out. Um, if I manage to stay in Rivendell, then, you know, they can't move me anywhere that would, that would hurt them. All right. So they... Um, they allocate one eye, they roll one more, and I get, I get this roll. So, why is there no Will of the West? I don't know. It's sad. I have Mirror of Galadriel, but it's pretty nerve-wracking to play it against, um, a possible Day Without Dawn. They only rolled two attacks here, um, but... Because they have Ring Wraiths are Abroad and Nazgul Strike and Shadows on the Misty Mountain and Hill Trolls and Shadows Gather, they have effective uses for these dice. So even though they have had some um, bad uh, dice rolls, they've been able to make good use of it. And again, credit to them for drawing strategy cards, because if you draw a bunch of strategy cards, then you have useful strategy cards to play. So um, I, I don't begrudge them that. I just uh, I just want to acknowledge this isn't actually as bad a roll as it looks. This roll, I don't really want to be moving four times this round. Um, I could, I guess. Um, you know, I would have enjoyed having more mustering so that I could just muster up in Dale. Um, two movements, a will of the West and two musters. That would have been, that would have been nice. All right. So I think about mustering, but then I realize if they go for, um, Corsairs, uh, or it, if they have Corsairs or if they just attack in and have, um, ring wraiths or abroad, which they do, uh, then they can besiege Dol Amroth and I have to be prepared, um, to defend it with Kyrdan ships. So I'm not ready to play this. Also, if they attack into Rohan, I have to be prepared to um, move these armies around and hole up in Helm's Deep. So the situation is they have four victory points. They need one more stronghold, and it's going to be hard for me to hold all, all four cities. Like, I do have some in the Shire a little bit, and I do have some in Dale, but right now this can take out Dale. And so, again, that was my mistake for, for, not, um, for not getting the dwarves to war. That, is, that was absolutely a mistake. So um, I start by moving because I want to see how this goes. If I get missed and missed, which is certainly possible on only two dice uh, on sixes and fives, and I don't get revealed, then I might be able to make it to Mordor and I might risk it. So I'm just starting by moving and I'm not passing because I want the information to know if I can use these, like if, if Rohan gets attacked and I can use character dice or I maybe I need to use character dice to, to move these guys in if I'm not getting to Mordor anyway. And then I can use the muster instead of moving armies, I can use the muster to actually add units to the board. Um, and the other thing, oh, right. The other thing that I'm thinking about is maybe I move once or twice, I get hit, hit with an eye or something like that. And then I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll risk Mirror of Galadriel. Um, because I'm not getting to Mordor anyway, I'll slow down with the fellowship and, um, try and try and make it. So, 
um, they muster in um, North Dunland. And so now I'm like, oh, no, this is going to be bad. They're going to be able to besiege Rivendell, especially if they have something like um, uh, Ringwraiths are abroad. And I'm not going to be able to muster as much as I want in Rivendell, even though the elves are at war. So I better move now. Uh, so interesting. So I start passing here. I, I guess I just want to wait and see a little bit. Maybe I should. Maybe I should be moving here so that I know the outcome more in advance. Um, I move, and this is 50-50 chance to hit me, and they hit me. So I would have much preferred to not get hit there. But, all right, they hit me. Uh, they only have a 4 out of 13 chance of revealing me, and they do 2 damage. So I don't like taking 2 damage. Pippin goes somewhere, goes to Rivendell, because it seems like they're attacking Rivendell. And um, and then they muster some more. I don't know exactly what... I guess they're just trying to play it safe and they feel like one regular in North Dunland is sufficient and they're just covering their bases in case Dale gets attacked and then scouts into um, Dol Guldur. So now I move again. And um, this is very likely to hit me. 75% chance to hit me, but still only um, four out of... 12, only one third chance to reveal me. So the chances of revealing me here are not that big. And um, and they hit me, but they don't reveal me. So I take one corruption. And I've sort of given up on the idea of um, uh, Mirror of Galadriel. And so I think that I'm just going to, you know, hope. Um, and I muster once in Rivendell... And I'm hoping maybe they don't have ring rates or abroad. I mean, it certainly feels like they have ring rates or abroad. But um, now I go ahead and move because otherwise, um, what else am I doing? And I just I just have to hope that I don't get I don't get hit with an eye. Anything else is fine. I have the healing in my hand, uh, Bilbo song, and there and there's another way. So I'm actually doing okay. And if I manage to hold um, in Rivendell a little bit, it probably it can't it can't hold against this. But um, if I manage to hold maybe in Rohan, I could draw some Rohan mustering. Um, I have Kirden's ships for um, for Dol Amroth, so it's possible that I can I can hold for a bit um, and go a little slower with Gollum. So I move, and um, obviously they're going to hit me. Uh, but the question is, are they going to reveal me? And they do. So, you know, that's sad. That's really sad. And, uh, now I get two extra tiles and there's still three eyes in there and two zeros. So, you know, that could be okay. Um, but I take two reveal, uh, from the eye and then, um, uh, three more and these two really good tiles for Gollum. Like Gollum really wants these on Mordor and wants to go slowly. Eyes would, eyes are zero here. And uh, yeah, so that was five corruption on that move. And now I'm up to eight and uh, pulled out two good tiles from the hunt pool. It's pr probably game over. Maybe I rushed too much. I mean, I, but given the role that I had, I don't know. Maybe I should have just moved twice and um, gotten tried to get Aragorn. And then next round they get into... I mean, they, they have Nazgul Strike also. So they'd be able to Nazgul Strike me in, in Rivendell next round. So, yeah. I mean, I, I think this was the right play maybe it was wrong to separate so many people. Like if I had known that I was going to roll four movement this round, maybe I would have kept, um, kept Strider in, but I didn't have, I got revealed, right? Like there were the hunt pool. Uh, yeah. So we used up this two was lucky to not get revealed on the first hit. And then this would have revealed me on the, um, on the second hit. I guess then I could have hid with Strider 
and then moved. But the chances of getting four movement are pretty low. I guess I would have had to roll three movement and then... Yeah, no, I would have gotten hit by Cruel Weather. Uh, no, I guess I would have gotten revealed and cruel. I would have been immune to Cruel Weather. But um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, st I still am like, even looking at this now, thinking about it, what was the right play? Was it right to separate all these companions? Was it right to hope for a Will of the West and only two um, two moves from the Fellowship on, on turn five? I mean, I ended up getting four. Um, and if I had gotten in with at six corruption with a hunt pool looking like two two extra tiles, a one and a two in there, or even, yeah, anyway, uh, that's how it goes. So then they play Ring Rearster Abroad and Besiege Rivendell, and um, I didn't get to muster another time in Rivendell, and I still haven't drawn any reinforcements for, uh, for Rivendell. Or Rohan. All right, I draw the red arrow now. Okay, better than nothing. Maybe I'm going to be able to get that into place. Um, what do I discard here? I discarded one scout. And then guards of the Citadel. So I'm thinking probably Aragorn can hold. I'm happy to see Heroic Death. Um, I'm very happy to see we prove the Swifter. That certainly gives me a chance to hold some places. Um, yeah. If I could have kept one extra card and, and also played the red arrow and then moved, that would have been nice. They allocate one eye, and I get this roll. Pretty flexible. Um, I start by getting Aragorn because I know that given the hunt pool and given how much corruption the um, fellowship has, I'm going to need to go pretty slowly. And so I have to extend the game into turn nine, probably. I don't think I can do it on turn eight. Like I could try, but turn nine is really what I need. And um, also they got plenty of attacks this round. So I'm just hoping they're going to roll a few attacks. I'm going to be able to stall a little with We Prove the Swifter. So I'm like, okay, let's Maybe they're going to go for a dual Amroth and I'll have, um, you know, Kyrdan ships and then Strider can, or Aragorn can come in with We Prove the Swifter. Um, Gandalf cannot get to dual Amroth from the Shire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, but he can get um, to Helm's Deep. So, all right. I get Aragorn. We'll see. Rivendell gets attacked. It's sad. They die. Um, press, 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 and they die. Okay. Um, cruel weather. Yeah. All right. Um, I did draw. Oh no. Okay. Um, I hide the fellowship. They, uh, let's see what happens. They attack into Dale. Yeah. So, so maybe that was a, maybe that was a misplay for me. Um, Maybe I should have been mustering in Dale at the beginning of this round. Um, and again, if the dwarves were at war, I'd be able to counterattack out. So, but I was worried about, I was worried about four cities and Gandalf dying. I don't know. There, there are a lot of places that Shadow can attack. So, yeah, tough situation. So they take Dale, they get... Um, no hits, I get no hits. And now I have like, if I, if doors were at war, I could muster once and then, um, North would be at war. Yeah. Sad. All right. So they move into Eastham net and I was, I was passing here. Maybe I was too slow. Maybe I should have played red arrow in Edoras and, and then moved to Westham net. And then I would have had more hit points here. So I guess my thinking is I have to move things along. So I'm playing there is another way instead of red arrow because I'm worried about um, yeah, maybe I should yeah, I'm just worried about getting attacked and then units dying. So I'm saving the red arrow as scouts is what's happening. 
did they at this point play um, a second swarm bats? No, this, the second swarm bats is still uh, swarm bats is still out. So yeah. All right, I played there as another way, thinking that I will then use a ring to um, hide if needed, or move again if needed to be risky. But I need to hopefully, you know, I heal one. I want to hit a zero would be great. A one would be fine. An eye is probably okay. I mean, I don't want, all right. So I get an eye, I take two, I'm revealed. Um, they, what do they do? They play power to great. I uh, muster an elite in the Shire because now I'm worried about five city, four cities because I definitely can't hold Pilar gear. I can't hold Edoras. And so I have to hold the Shire. And I'm sure I'm regretting that the dwarves are not at war. They attack Fords of Aizen. Um, okay. And then I play uh, Scouts here. And maybe, yeah, maybe I could have just, I could have just done Scouts, or I could have done um, the, the Red Arrow sooner and then Westham that, yeah, I don't know. If people have feedback on that turn, that that turn I maybe could have played differently with the mustering. So I get an elite from Westham Net into Helm's Deep, and now I didn't get any mustering. I, um, yeah. And now I think probably the Shire can hold against these guys, at least for a while. Um, and hopefully I can hold Helm's Deep. It's going to be unlikely, but possible. Um, and then they play Black Captain Commands to attack Helm's Deep, which is a little interesting because now it lets me, at the start of next turn, muster into Edoras. So if they get few attacks, they might not be able to take out Helm's Deep and the Shire and Pilar Gear. Oh, no, I see. They need Helm's Deep plus Pilar Gear. That's enough. Yeah, okay. So they're just focused on Pilar Gear. All right, so... Um, I get Imrahil of Dol Amroth and Challenge of the King, and I get this very nice, flexible roll. Um, it is tricky because I want to move and hide with the Fellowship. I want to muster in Edoras, and um, I need to uh, use my dice efficiently to be able to survive this. So I risk Day Without Dawn, um, and I use a muster to, to go in Edoras and, and, and um, a regular mustard die in Edoras and Westham Net. Extremely risky, makes me very uncomfortable, but what can I do? Also, by the way, they did not get the Mouth of Sauron last round, um, and they had a muster that they could have used it for. I'm not sure. I don't remember what they mustered. Um, so, you know, this is uh, very risky, but you know, 50-50 chance approximately that they have Day Without Dawn. So I'm going for it. And and if you look, they have already played Black Captain Commands. Um, so, and, and Ring Wraiths are abroad. So they only have one, two, three attacks this round. So if I um, put a unit in Westham Net and Edoras, they would be able to attack Westham Net, move to um, Helm's Deep and then attack in Helm's Deep but then um, they can't also attack in Pelargia or Edoras. So they're only at nine at the end of this round. So I'm thinking, okay, I can hold maybe until round eight um, and we'll see what happens. So I muster there and I'm just hoping. They don't have Day Without Dawn, but they do have Morgul Wounds. So it's really tough for the Fellowship. Um, what can I do? Um, they play the ring as mine. And now I normally would not play very often play Challenge of the King, but with a chance, a 30% chance to get the red eye, um, it's worth doing. So I play Challenge of the King. Oh, interesting. I play Bilbo Song first. That's fine. I heal two. Uh, they get the Mouth of Sauron. I play Challenge of the King now. Would be great if I could get that red eye, but I get one regular eye, better than nothing. Um, and uh, then they attack into Edoras, which makes sense. And maybe I should be mustering here. Maybe I should have saved more scouts instead of, um, I don't know, instead of Imrahil. I think I got rid of scouts last round. 
yeah, it's really hard to know what I should be um, keeping or holding. If I had an extra scouts, these guys could could certainly cause some trouble. Um, but I'm my plan is I'm going to spend a ring on this mustard die so that uh, I will draw a zero or a one. Um, I will reveal myself and then I will hide. That's my plan. And I don't give them any extra attacks because they already have the Mouth of Sauron and this muster is an attack. So I move and I get a three. I mean, it's not really what I want. So far I've gotten an I and a three and there are four tiles in here that would be pleasant. So the, this is not as bad as an I but it's almost as bad. So I reveal myself and um, Westamnet gets attacked and use a ring to hide. So maybe, maybe I can move three times next turn. I mean, seems extremely unlikely now. Um, I would have to get like zero, zero. I would have to get three of these four tiles. So I need, I need things to hold for another round. And um, yeah, probably not possible. So I get Ents, which could be useful. Um, they get Foul Thing and Denthor's Folly, fine. They allocate one eye, roll three more, which is extremely dangerous. Um, but honestly, two would be just as dangerous, so fine. Um, and then I get this roll. So they didn't have Day Without Dawn before. I'm just gonna assume that they still don't have Day Without Dawn. And number one thing, I have to get Gandalf into this uh, stronghold so that they only have three leadership instead of um, instead of five. And it turns off all of their, um, like they can't play They Are Terrible now. So it's still very dire. I would really like to have Theoden. I never drew Theoden. Um, I drew, I think scouts, uh, I, I think I drew Red Arrow too late, though maybe there was a way that I could have gotten those units in if I had played last round or two rounds ago differently. Um, and Ent's Rage is the plus two on my combat roll. So that's, of all of the Ent cards, the probably the least valuable. Um, I do have Heroic Death. I have Shield Wall that I can play. Um, I have Confusion that I can play. So there are some chances they have um, 14 hit points to my six. So not great. But I do have two captains in there, so we'll see. They start by playing a strategy card, and I start with um, I start with heroic death, and maybe that's wrong, but um, that's what I start with because I was afraid of deadly strife or other things like that. They have devilry of orthanc. They get um, one hit, and I get three back, and then they stop and draw. So um, yeah, I'm gonna draw cards. I have wizard staff, not useful, Gandalf. That is not what I need. I would really like another Heroic Death. I would love Brave Stand. Brave Stand would be incredible here. I have three companions. Um, more Ents would be fine. Wizard Staff, not so useful. All right, they attack into Helm's Deep again. They play another strategy card. I play Confusion, I think, or maybe Shield Wall. We'll see. I play Shield Wall. Okay. Um, and um, they get two hits and I get um, four hits back. So, you know, it's not enough. I don't think it's enough. Um, and they redrew a deadly strife. So I um, draw another character card. I'm just drawing, drawing. And my plan is now um, draw, uh, move once with the fellowship and um, hope to get a zero. And then next turn, hope that they roll very few eyes. <laughs> and maybe I'll draw a useful character card in between now and then. Um, and with six dice, maybe, you know, I think there's still Othalos. I think there's still um, the blue tiles. I have a negative one and a negative two. So I draw a second Ent. And now that I have two Ents, this is interesting. Um, they start mustering here in South Dunland. And if the dwarves were somehow at war, this would change sort of all of their math on this because I would be able to attack back out of Erebor and, and possibly take out, um, 
take out Dale. So I can't possibly hold Pilar gear. I know that, and they know that. But I can't even like retake one victory point such that it would cost them an extra attack into Pilar gear. So they get to use their dice very efficiently here. And um, I play Ents right here. And maybe maybe that's a slight inaccuracy. Um, you know, what am I what is my plan? I guess my plan is play Ents, hold Helms Deep, and then move uh, move once and hide once. That's my plan. Okay. Um, I obviously play Ants Rage first because if I manage to take out Orthanc, then um, I get to save Nameless Wood, which is an incredibly powerful combat effect. Maybe it was better to draw one more, draw one more character card with a ring, and then see what I get. Because if I get a third Ent, I can save this one, which I think is the best one, um, the Nameless Wood. And otherwise, I'll get a character card that I could potentially play. So I had a little time. I could have drawn again. All right, that's good. That's good to know. But I guess I'm planning on just holding Helm's Deep. I don't know how Helm's Deep holds. Yeah. All right. Um, so I play my Ents now. And uh, I get two hits, and then I get two hits, and they think it's not possible. But I can I can play that because Gandalf is in a uh, Rohan region. That's fine. Um, and Saruman is dead. And now um, they don't have any leadership anymore because I have Gandalf in there, and their um, Goblin Riders don't or uh, War Riders don't work uh, either. So you know, but it's not gonna it's not gonna be enough. They still have Great Host and Deadly Strife. So. Um, I move because I have to move. I, I you know, it, it's very dire already, but I have to move. Um, and I could obviously lose the game right here with uh, four tiles, but okay. Uh, but I get a zero. So that's that's good at least. And now they have Shadows Gather. So they have this final attack. They have quite a few elites. They don't have any leadership. And, um, and then... They, uh, I, I use a ring. I'm not going to move again right now. Um, and since it was a zero, I don't need to hide. If it was the one, I would have used a ring probably to hide. But I'm going to draw a card. Because if I get another heroic death, if I get um, Brave Stand, if I get an end card, there are a lot of cards that could help me here. Um, but instead, I get a file glad rule. So, you know, useful next turn if I live through this. But they have, again, 14 hit points to my four no leadership, so maybe we'll see. Um, I have confusion and servant of a uh, the secret fire. Um, they attack. They um, play great host to start off with. That's obviously an excellent card for them, and um, they do two hits to themselves, but they do get one six against me. So that is really, that's really the key because they want to be able to preserve their elites to save for presses. Um, I get four hits against them. Uh, sorry, a total of five hits against them. Um, and But I have to take two myself. So they, they took casualties correctly. They had to reduce one elite. If they hadn't gotten that six on that roll, uh, th then um, Great Host would not have been able to trigger with the number of hits that I did. Um, and I would have made it to next round. Now, just because I make it to next round doesn't mean I win. I mean, I'm, I'm nowhere close to winning. Uh, the three kills me, the, you know, I, I get the, I get file of Gladrill in play, but like I could easily not win, even if this holds. So anyway, but they hit. Um, and uh, now it's almost certainly that's it. And um, they press and they play a strategy card. They redrew Desperate Battle. So, you know, that's great. I play Servant of a Secret Fire now. I get to roll uh, four dice and um, they get one hit against me. 
which is actually below average for a desperate battle. You'd expect um, more than that. And um, and I looks like I get uh, four hits against them, but I rolled too many dice. I have only two captains in there, so I only get three hits against them. And um, now they get to uh, take their hits like this and then, and then press um, another time. And if they had had you know, a little more damage. I dished out a good amount of damage, but if, if they had had a little more damage on them, then, uh, I would have, um, they would have, they, there would have been a chance that I could have killed them. Yeah. The thing here, I'm, I'm just looking back Maybe I misplayed slightly with the Servant of the Secret Fire because that only affects combat rolls. So if I had um, saved the confusion for the second round of combat and played Servant of the Secret Fire on the first round of combat, then I would have gotten more benefit out of the Servant of Secret Fire because I would have had one extra die. Minor misplay there that I just noticed. Minor optimization. I mean, I have to get very lucky here anyway. Um, but now there's no chance. I only have, um, they play Deadly Strife and um, they kill me. They only needed one hit and my ability to counterattack them was was not enough. Um, I, I get to roll three dice. So they say they misplayed badly. I, I, that was, I don't think that's true at all. Um, just we, we do the final roll at the end and I would have gotten um, two hits against them. They would have had two hit points left in Helm's Deep. So Gandalf and two companions and some Ents, uh, you know, did a pretty good job trying to hold. Um, I made a few minor mistakes. Um, that difference in um, and that last combat, maybe drawing the character card first. Um, the not getting the dwarves to war instead of the um instead of the north or keeping both the book of miserable and fear fire foes i could have done that so you know i think the luck was overall pretty balanced if we look at statistics um these are correct they were slightly low on sixes but like everything was pretty balanced um, it took a long time for Gandalf to show up. That was sad. And then Aragorn didn't show up on the first turn that he could have either. Um, so, yeah, I think overall probably luck was a little in their favor or just I had bad luck. I drew a lot of strategy cards and did not get the reinforcements that I needed in the places that I needed them. And then, and then to be fair, I did make mistakes by not keeping the right strategy cards that I did draw. Because if you draw into Book of Miserable and Fear Fire Foes and Gandalf is out west, then you know, you can get the dwarf and the dwarves and the north to war. And then and then there's no like, how do you hold this? Like in uh in Dale, I, I think you're having trouble holding Dale against this crazy thing. You might even not be able to hold Woodland Realm. So um yeah, it was a great, it was a good game. I, I feel, I feel pleased with this game. This was a respectable game. I think I made overall good choices with the cards that I had and the resources that I had. I think the separation play with I Will Go Alone was um, risky, uh, certainly, and I definitely had corruption problems. Um, but it also um, gave me military chances, uh, enough time militarily to, to survive. And, um, and I did have Othalos, I did have another blue tile, um, and I did have um, Smeagol Helps Nice Master. I had three blue tiles and Athalos still in the deck. Um, and at the time I separated, I had a lot of um, Golem healing cards that, you know, would be very efficient with Golem and possibly making it to Mordor uh, hidden is, um, is a huge boon. And I, and I was pretty close, pretty close to doing it. So... 
All right, that was the game. Congratulations to Circle Deck and congratulations to the Italian <laughs> War of the Ring community because they are extremely excited that it is an Italian versus an Italian in the War of the Ring finals. So I'm very happy for them. Congratulations. This was a nice match um, and, and, in, and certainly an exciting an exciting last game and a, an exciting last battle in, in Helm's Deep. And uh, I'll just show the final the final sort of situation was Gandalf is dead. These two units are dead. Um, and um, that's how that's how um, they got to um, 10 victory points. Rohan, Lorien, Rivendell, Woodland Realm and uh, Dale. Uh, I will be playing in the bronze match for um, third place against um, Saved by Him. And uh, I will look forward to showing you those games as well. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good rest of the day. Obviously, I feel a little sad for not making it to the to the finals, uh, but I think uh, top, top four is a respectable run through this tournament. That's the biggest tournament to date. And... Um, and I played really badly game one of this match. So it's not it's not unreasonable that, that I lost this match. Uh, all right. Thanks for the games. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.